Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. It's time for another payday prep and the title is correct. I am halting my purchases of gold and silver so that I can prep even more food stuff. All right, food stuff and any supplies that I think I may need should prices go up very high or should those items be unattainable. Okay, so this is my payday prep for this payday. Everything is not here because I couldn't fit it here and I really didn't want to pull out a bigger table or a bigger stool for this. So I've got a couple really great deals and then I've got something that I found and I do believe that it was from one of our community members that mentioned it that I want to show you guys that I think is very interesting and uh, let's start it off. So. My first good one is this. This is the store brand of flour at the commissary. These were on clearance. I know that, that it's uh, reversed, but it's $1.22 for a five pound bag, and they're not expired yet. All right, here's, oh, look at that. Actually, yep, when I bought them, they had just, they still weren't expired, because I think I bought them about six, seven days ago. But I've been gathering this for the last week or so, all these things. But I got four of these. So I ended up getting 20 pounds of flour for less than $5, okay? And we make all our breads here, so I will end up using this, okay? I'm trying to convert over to organic flour, like, like the organic flour that I had bought from Costco's but I couldn't pass this up. This is just a great deal. I may decide to go ahead and just store this and put these flowers in a mylar bag and put it away for long-term food storage, but haven't decided yet. Okay, so that was my first really good buy. It's $1.22 for a five pound bag of flour. I ended up getting four of them. Now this one back here, that's a five pound bag of cornmeal. And I was able to get that for a dollar and sixty-five cents. All right, so that's another one. And it's like I say, ladies and gentlemen, when I go into the store, if I uh, if something pops out and I'm not going to the store for that specific thing, if it's a great deal and I know that I'm going to use it, I'll get it, right? Because what you know, what's the worst that can happen that I end up using this in a month instead of a week? You know, I know I'm going to use this. I know that this is going to go to use. So for a dollar twenty-two for a five-pound bag, that's a great deal. Okay. Uh, so like I said, I ended up getting this cornmeal also, and I wasn't going looking for the cornmeal. It's self-rising cornmeal. All right. So that's good for making cornbread for a dollar sixty-five. All right. Uh, the best deal that I got. What's this? This is organic blue agave, all right? And these are 23 and a half ounce bottles. I got these for 56 cents a piece. I ended up taking all of them. They had nine bottles left. But this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and repackage this in glass. I'm gonna seal it, just like I did with my honey and my maple syrup, and I'm gonna put it back because blue agave is a pretty much a pure sugar. It will pretty much last indefinite, right? So I just thought that this is such a great deal for organic blue agave nectar, all right? 56 cents a bottle. I'm guessing that one of these bottles at regular price is three or more dollars. So I ended up getting nine bottles for probably the price of less than two bottles at full price, okay? This here is just something that I picked up. I wanted to show you guys. I picked this up at Costco's, and this is organic Parmesan cheese, all right? It has absolutely no additives or fillers. If you look at the in ingredients in this, it's just cheese. It's just Parmesan cheese. It doesn't have any fillers. It doesn't have any anti-clumping agents. It doesn't have any preservatives, nothing. So, And it's shelf-stable. All right, so I went ahead and picked one of these up. I'm still working on a block of Parmesan cheese that I grind myself. So when I open this up, I'll let you guys know what it's like, if it's any good. I ended up getting two six packs of condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, which was pretty at a pretty decent price. I didn't like the price because I'm used to paying a lot less. The last time I bought these, 
was about a year ago and they were on sale for less than a dollar now these are about a dollar and 50 cents roughly each if you buy them in the six pack if you go to the store and try to buy an individual one they're they're upwards of two dollars now all right so that's not a bad deal i got 24 or i got let's see i got two 12 packs of condent of uh evaporated milk so i've got two 12 packs of evaporated milk so i got 24 cans all right which is something that i've been looking for i've been trying to find them on sale but i couldn't find them on sale so i ended up getting those uh, let's see. This is something interesting. Well, I'll show you that last. I ended up getting two of these of my pigeon peas, gondulas, because uh, our stock at the house could use two more. So I ended up getting two more of these. And I ended up getting this. And I do believe this was a recommendation from one of our community members. And I'll let you guys know what this is like, if it's any good or not. But this is sour cream. This is kind of like... Uh, I forgot the name of the sour cream that's a little bit runny. It's supposed to be high quality, but that's what this is. And this is real cream. It's just shelf stable. So I am very interested in trying this because I love sour cream. Everyone in my house loves sour cream. And if we can find some shelf stable sour cream, then that's going to be great. All right. And then my biggest buy was I ended up getting 30 12 packs of wide mouth lids and I got three of the small mouth all right so one of our community members left me a uh, link where you can buy your your lids in bulk and I went over there and I did the math and it, they came out to about three dollars and forty cents or something like that for every 12 well my wife and I went to Fred Meyer's to pick up, I forgot what we went there to pick up, but it was something small. And I noticed that they were selling these there for $3.40. So I went ahead and bought a whole bunch. And it's a good thing I did because my last canning uh, batch that I did used up my last box. I didn't even know that it used up my last box because I have them in the bottom of a drawer. So now I've got plenty of canning lids to last me for a good while. In addition to the uh, brand new canning lids that I gathered from the jars that I used to can the honey because I used uh, used lids for those so this to me was a great score I ended up getting 30 of them which turns out to be what 460 or so is that what it turns out to be 30 times 12 360 360 of the wide mouths and I only got three of the small mouths because I don't we don't do small mouths that often all right so this here, ladies and gentlemen, is my payday prep, all right? And I've gotten a few comments uh, of people that are saying, what if we can't really afford to prep the way that you prep? Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing here is I am giving you guys ideas, all right? I'm not saying go sell the dog and, you know, start prepping like you see other people's prep. You have to do what you are able to do. When you think about it, if you have a 50-pound bag of rice and a 25-pound bag of beans put away for emergencies, you probably have more long-term food storage than 95% of the people in the U.S., all right? So you're already ahead, okay? So I've always said that slow and steady wins the race, Okay, just don't give up. Don't get intimidated. If you go to the store today or tomorrow, whenever or whenever, all right, and you come out with an extra can of whatever, an extra can of whatever it is that you eat or like to eat, and that can is specifically so that you can store it away, all right, for long term storage, you're ahead. You are more ahead today than where you were yesterday. All right. So that's how you have to look at it. OK, ladies and gentlemen, my wish is that we never have to use our long term food storage. All right. And that is why it's a good idea for all of us. All right. Not just me, not just you, but for all of us to prep what we eat and eat what we prep. Now, do I normally buy this blue agave? No, I normally don't. 
but I've had it before and it's good. It's a really good sweetener. It's natural, right? So I don't normally get it, but I know that it will last. It'll outla it will outlast me, all right, if I package it correctly, all right? And if I want to get into it, I can, but I don't have to, right? So uh, prep what you eat and eat what you prep, okay? And slow and steady wins the race. Don't be intimidated. Don't let anybody tell you that you're nuts, all right? Follow your gut instincts, all right? Because like I've been saying for a while now, all right, we can all feel it. We can all feel it in the air, all right, that something is not right with a lot of things, all right? So instead of getting scared, get prepared. How do you like that? <laughs> that came out pretty good. Instead of getting scared, get prepared, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, this is it for the payday prep. Uh, like I said, oh, Little Miss Alaska Prepper has something to say. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I always forget to let you guys know, hey, if you're, if you're enjoying this, if you like this video, if you're getting something out of it, please give it a like, comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so like I said, again, I will keep saying it. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't be intimidated, okay? Just do what you can do, all right? If you don't have the funds available to you that you feel that you need in order to prepare at a level that you want to prepare then try to diversify your income even if you're retired okay uh, so check this out if you like to cook find yourself a great banana bread recipe and put an ad on craigslist and say i am selling homemade banana bread for x number of dollars a loaf all right if you are able to walk a few miles, grab yourself a bag, pick up cans, all right, if you have the time, all right? If you're on a fixed income and you have the time, use your time to do some things that are productive that will enable you to earn just a little bit of extra income. It doesn't have to be a lot, ladies and gentlemen. $20 will get you a 50-pound bag of rice, all right? $15 will get you a 25-pound bag of Pinto beans. It doesn't have to be a lot. I saw a YouTube channel not too long ago with a lady that was on Social Security. And I do believe that the name of the YouTube channel was Living on Social Security. And she had uh, more subscribers than we have here in this channel. I think she's got like 14,000 subscribers or something like that. Which means that she's probably making a few dollars a month. You know, she's probably making an extra $100, $200 a month. You know? So think outside the box, don't get discouraged, and continue to prep, all right? Even if you can only prep a little bit of the time, all right? I don't know how many other ways I can say it, but that I just don't want you guys to give up, all right? Don't give up because this is not the time for you to give up. This is the time for us to get together, encourage each other to prep even more, okay? And if you're running out of room, like I am, all right, I'm in the process of, of organizing my pantry, of reorganizing it, cataloging everything, and uh, making more room, then find room, okay? That's, it, that's actually a good problem to have, that you're running out of room, all right? Because it means that you are prepping and that you are getting everything that you need for whatever may come, all right? Ladies and gentlemen... This uh, is not going to go on that long because I'm going to stop blabbing right now. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, hey, listen, I, I hope that you did enjoy this. I hope that more than anything that these short payday prep videos encourage you to go out there and prep. Oh, there's dog. Hi, dog. Say hi, girl. Want to say hi? Say hi. Give me your paw. Good girl. Good girl. You're not going to say hi? No? Okay. She doesn't want to say hi right now. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it off with that. Uh, for all of you that uh, may be new to the channel, that may be watching for the first time, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and join a great community of like-minded people that are more than willing and want to help each other out, okay? Because this is a great community, all right? And those of you that are here every time that I put out a new video, thank you very much for coming back, ladies and gentlemen. I truly do appreciate every single one of you, and I truly do mean that, all right? Uh, if 
you guys want to support the channel in any way, just take a look at the description below. There's links on there that you can use to support the channel. Uh, let a couple ads run through. That really helps the channel a lot, all right? And um, uh, most of the links down there doesn't take any money out of your pocket, all right? So it's easy to support the channel without having to spend any money, and it really does help. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, having said that, remember to be good to each other because when good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.